and welcome back to The Music Room. I'm Duncan Taylor. We're here with another Synergistic Setups video featuring a system that's a mix of newer and older components, both new and used. Now each piece here is great on its own, but when connected together, this system is greater than the sum of its parts. And that's what this video series is all about. Now the key to achieving the sought after synergy of connected components is understanding what each piece does well, what the components want, and how uh, they can all be optimized with connected cable. Today's subjects include a gutsy amplifier from the 1990s with some interesting circuitry, a pair of modern and well-loved but fairly power-hungry speakers, a pre-amplifier that's one of my favorites from a German pro audio manufacturer, and a loom of cabling that aims to align the sound frequencies and create an expressive cohesion throughout the signal path. If you're interested to find out more about any of these components, look below in the description where we'll have the names and links available for each item. When I started putting together this system from the Music Room stock of new and used hi-fi equipment, I'd been on the lookout for a component just like this 90s era Conrad Johnson amplifier, which carries a fine pedigree from one of hi-fi's best known brands, but creates some divided opinions out there as to its relevance in the modern hi-fi landscape. I wanted to show that with the right speakers and certain cabling, specifically these uh, velocity optimized cables from Nordost, this amplifier could easily craft an involving, image rich, and very high end sound. Conrad Johnson had purchased the company's Sonograph in the early 1990s, intending to build their models at, in the same factory as other CJ designs, but envisioning the series as a budget offering alongside their high-performing tube and solid-state counterparts. Regardless of that label and the unit's original price tags, much of this equipment still performs admirably and is highly sought after, just like this SA250 power amplifier. MOSFETs offer plenty of power, especially when paralleled and grouped together, but there could be a specific type of sound that's attributed to them, especially when they come in larger numbers. When done correctly, BJT amplifiers can offer a more neutral presentation which is something I was looking for in this piece of the synergistic system. Now a good amplifier needs a good speaker pairing to be sure. So I went looking through the Music Rooms catalog of over 150 new and used uh, speaker models to find a pair that wants what this 90s powerhouse can offer. What better match than the supremely musical and articulate but somewhat power hungry ATC SCM40 Gen 2s that we see here. These are the current Gen 2 edition of the three-way floor stander from ATC, finished in beautiful cherry veneer. They're 85 dB efficient, measured with one watt at one meter, by the way, and with a load of eight ohms nominal, that's a specification that can be trusted. They're not the most inefficient by any means, but this amplifier pairing will help drive them with authority. Now, ATCs are known to have superb mid-range ability thanks to the proprietary large dome driver um, and, but they're also known for extreme musicality and neutrality, and they're used in pro audio studios around the world as monitors. Now the manufacturer separates its catalog between pro and home use, and the SCM40 is a long-standing model in the latter category. Curved cabinets and narrow baffles make for fantastic imaging, and those hallmark mid-ranges offer better off-axis dispersion of sound for enjoyment all over the room but they do need some power and some volume to really show off their hi-fi chops, and that's why they're paired with the Conrad Johnson amplifier in this setup. So we've got a pair of speakers and a power amplifier, and the last piece of electronics which completes the puzzle is another item from a manufacturer which crosses the aisle between pro audio and home hi-fi, which is Germany's Sound Performance Lab, or SPL. SPL's Elector preamplifier is one I've been living with and working on a review for for about a month or two, and I've completely fallen for its super low self noise, fantastic sonic balance, and chart topping mid range detail and clarity. Now, where the Conrad Johnson delivers the bass in this system, and the Nordos cables, which I'll get to in a moment, help extend the high frequency response. It's the SPL that's responsible for delivering to the ATC mid ranges a complete grainless and effortless mid-range clarity that help maximize this system for a complete hi-fi experience. One thing I love about this preamplifier is its ability to effectively learn 
any infrared remote control signal just by pressing the small white button on the back panel and aiming the remote at the front panel meters. At home, I pulled out my nearly forgotten older Apple TV remote for a super simple operation. As we're talking about a system of uh, connected components, it's important to consider the cabling as a component rather than an accessory. Now the cables I specifically chose from Nordost uh, play an integral role in the sound. Nordos is an American company with technology aimed at preserving the timing of audio signals through its cables and in tech speak that's something called velocity propagation or VP. While some believe the skin effect only applies to frequencies above the human hearing, the actual data shows that for 16 gauge solid wire for example, the skin effect begins to happen at about 11 kilohertz right around the breathy region of a female vocal or the splash of the cymbals of a drum kit. Nordost achieves a VP of above 90% in all of the Norse 2 cables, like the Heimdall 2 you see here, which means treble frequencies are almost completely unaffected by the skin effect and dielectric influence. A true hi-fi experience should have all frequencies represented correctly, but in the case of speaker wiring, a sufficient gauge should also be maintained in order to pass enough current for the bass and for impactful musical crescendos. That's why Nordost uses a ribbon array of many small silver-plated wires while encasing the wires with air inside individual tubes suspended by a thread. The time-accurate uh, delivery of the audio signal provided by these Nordost cables helps get the absolute best out of this older Conrad Johnson amplifier, showing that even a near-vintage budget amplifier of decent design can make for a truly memorable experience when optimized correctly. Add a low noise, extremely balanced uh, preamplifier to the mix that's got exceptional mid-range clarity, plus a pair of speakers that can do anything that you ask them to do, and you've got one heck of a synergistic system on your hands. Now we'll leave you with a few moments of music featuring this system, and uh, it's of a band that I had the pleasure of mastering their most recent album. You can find the information about that in the description below, as well as links and more information about each piece of gear that you see here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And from all of us at the Music Room, happy listening. Well, I know that we kind of damn